I've been kind of inadvertently collecting LED GU10 lamps and tonight I just spontaneously decided for for reasons that I'll go into later um, to test them for the rated power versus actual power. So we'll start off with typical 3 watt LED lamps. Now these ones are coloured ones and I've featured these before. Uh, so this is a red one and it's rated at 3 watts, actual power 1.9 watts. Now I can understand that because the red chips have a lower forward voltage so if they're running at the same current um, because these lamps quite often use a chip called a BP3102 which is a dedicated lamp driver chip rated for 3 watts for applications just like this but with the lower forward voltage of the red chips it's likely to result in a lower wattage at the same current so 1.9 watts the red the yellow, which is using gallium nitride chips with phosphor, 2.8 watts. The green, 2.6 watts. And the blue, 2.9 watts. So the blue is the closest to the 3 watt rating. Then there's a recent lamp, cold white, 3 watt, and it comes out at 3.2 watts. So that's pretty accurate. Um, a 4 watt, you, now this is actually, this was described as a 3 watt ultraviolet lamp with uh, three ultraviolet chips. Nice casing, it's kind of, it's more, it's a deeper sort of fluted casing than the other ones with a lot more air, air flow through it. But this one actually came out at 4.1 watts, so it's actually a wee bit higher rated than it was uh, online. This one was classed as a four watt, warm white. I'm guessing maybe they're just pushing the chip a bit harder or they're using a different chip. But this one came out at 4.1 watt. The RGB LED, now I've got a couple here, a couple of different types, one with discrete chips and one with uh, one common RGB chip. Now, these were both rated about 3 or 4 watts. This one just consistently draws round about 1.6 to 1.8 watts, regardless of how many LEDs you've got lit. If you've got one lit, it will, no matter which colour it is, it seems to draw a constant power. And when you've got all three lit on white, it still draws the same power, but they look a bit dimmer. This one, on the other hand, was quite interesting because when you lit an individual LED, um, it drew one watt, whichever colour it was. When you lit two together, it was two watts. And when you lit all three for white, it was the full three watts. So that's quite accurate. This is a Duracell lamp. Now, Duracell, it's a brand. They don't manufacture lamps. It's just a, a label they stick on some cheap Chinese lamp. This one was rated 4.2 watts, uh, 4 watts should I say, and it came out at 4.2 watts, so at least there's some accuracy. One of my favourite lamps for lighting around the house, a Philips 2 watt LED warm white lamp, which has four half watt chips. And this one actually came out dead on 2 watts. And now we get to the hydroponic lamps. Okay, hydroponic lamps have three chips um, in this sort of standard three watt type package. Two of the chips are red and one is blue. They're supposed to be 660 nanometer red. I'm not convinced about that. I think they're using 650 or 635 nanometer red because it just looks a wee bit too cheery and bright because traditional 660 nanometer red is quite a deep red. So, um, not too accurate that way with the colours, but not all that accurate with wattage either. They claim 6 watts, special Chinese fantasy watts, actual power 2 watts. This one was also rated uh, 6 watts. This one came close to an, ordin an ordinary 3 watt light at 3 watts. And this one is quite unusual. This one has um, six a half watt style chips behind plastic so you can't touch it which is nice. You unscrew this bezel and goodness knows how they actually um, managed to put a thread onto such thin flimsy fins here. And there's a quite a chunky bit of plastic. So it's got the six chips in here. Um, four of them are red and two of them are blue. And this one was supposed to be rated at five watts but actual power measured at a slightly disappointing 1.9 watts. So um, I get the feeling that the hydroponic uh, lamp market is kind of, yes, meddling with the figures a bit, at least doubling them. Well, more than doubling them, in fact, in most instances. So, yes, buyer beware.